get captured. Oh, what? I just had one. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, he turned off and he hit it. Did he? Passed. Yeah, tapped it. I don't know how that was possible. He's fired up this morning. Almost had a double. Almost had a double. I had to follow. So we, had, we literally. Yeah, keep casting. The other day we literally had a double. That's crazy. He hit it about 10 feet from the boat. Well, you got hit for real? Oh, yeah, I got oh. hit. Thought it was weeds. Got to the boat, went in the first turn, and he turned off. Unless that fish turned off mine and came in at yours. Mine, mine bit like 10 feet off. Like yeah, this is like way back. Yeah, okay, there's not way back. Different fish, different fish. Well, he's about to go swim out of my net. First fish of the morning. Almost had a double. Parrick had one nip him like 10 feet from the boat. It's kind of a classic musky window. They generally bite in super short windows. And we had a double literally the other day. I bit two fish on at the same time. And then this guy almost did a double with Parrick so he doesn't know how to set the hook. So fish, not a big one for the bait. Is that? I'm just surprised I woke up at all. Like, it was just so random. I looked up at the screen and it said 450. Like, like when I took off the lane, you think I like forgot Where is this guy? There's no way. Just make sure, you know, get me tested like today. You're an absolute orangutan to get here. Like, see if I had part monkey. <laughs> Currently about 5.30 a.m. You're supposed to start fishing at 4.30 a.m. I'm fishing with Doug Wagner for the first time ever. This legendary guide and now we're fishing a very cool body of water. Here we go. Yesterday sucked ass apparently. It was hotter than hot, horrible, and windy, and it should be going this way. How long have you been guiding on the bay? Six years. I was at Woods for six weeks. I just got back on the blast. How was it this year? Good. Real good. Well, last year was. Did you fish there last year with the high water? No. Nope. Actually, yes, I did. Sorry, last I was fishing Muskie Cup last year. Oh, the cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the cup was probably fine by then, but like June, July last year. Yeah, I, did. I didn't fish it. Are you doing the cup this year? I think so. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. I've never fished it, but it's so much. It was so much fun last year. That's what everybody says. I love salmon fishing. I don't know why I love it, but but you get a bite out there. It feels just so weird. The battleship. Yeah. Is it a 300 on the back? In days, everybody watches the weather and they're like, okay, today's fishable. Everybody comes. Real nice. Yeah, they shake pretty hard. It's a, you'll, the marabou comes off in bunches, so you catch many fish on them. We do pretty well on those. 
Are you in spot lock? Put it in spot lock and get the he fish's head into the wind. You're going to drown it. I am the captain now. No, you're not. I am the captain. <laughs> Just remember who's the captain. Well, one of Doug's buddies got a nice fish. He's going to help him take a picture and help him get out. So I'm going to captain this vessel here for a little bit. And I can check all of his waypoints while he's not looking. Save them all to my phone and yeah, we'll be good to go. He's watching this video right now wondering if I'm actually checking his waypoints. No, I'm not checking your waypoints. You could. I've heard of some other guides though selling their waypoints on the internet. I don't know if you'd want to do that, Doug. Maybe you guys should hit him up below and just message him for his waypoints and see how much he charges. This is madness out here. This is madness. Crazy. People, dude, it's just like that one spot. They all just come here. I missed one. Did you get, did you get that? Uh, yeah, I, I missed one. I'm I think sick. it's pretty simple that Doug is a better fisherman than you. Well, yeah, that's been established. <laughs> Doug's like an absolute hammer stick. Always wanted to fish with Doug. I'm glad we get, got to make it happen on this beautiful Thursday. I've already learned a lot. I learned something literally within the first two minutes. Like a very key thing that I'm going to do probably for the rest of my life. Ryan, who's behind the camera, just put a ding in my new boat. <laughs> Hey, are there any dings in the boat? Nope, nope, now there's one from Ryan. <laughs> Thanks, that'll just help me negotiate the price. Good one. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh, looks like the hummingbird doesn't work now. <laughs> Gonna have to replace it. Really? It was in Mike Griffey. Customer mine. How big was it? 47. Oh. Nice fish. Yeah, it looked 47. The Green Bay muskies are hands down like the most fragile muskies I've ever dealt with. They're so so soft, they can't take you can do everything right. And he was basically just he was dragging it backwards. He was on the wrong yeah, side yeah, of the boat. Yeah. I hope I get one more opportunity. Some green cabbage. I feel like this is gonna mess up my posture. Like I just feel like crooked neck right now. 30 feet. That was awesome. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. 30 feet right there in the boat. Oh. What was that? <laughs> oh. Perfect size for me. <laughs> There we go. My first muskie of the morning. Saw it on side scan. Fish just crushed it. Little guy, still mean, still a muskie. First Green Bay muskie. Oh man. Oh, not yet, not yet, girl. There you go. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Pretty sure that was a bite. He's always been good to me. I mean, he's never always been good to me. Yeah, I just. I might have her. 20 feet. <laughs> two for two, buddy. Oh man. Did you have to take the hat cam off? I had to take the hat cam off. Holy frick. 
That one's a pop. That's the biggest one of the day. It was a dice hook set. That was a dice hook set. That was the worst hook set of all time. Oh, wow. This is a beaut. When you're fishing for these fish, it's just so chaotic. You don't really know what the fish is. And then you look over the side of the boat and you're like, wow, it's a little bit bigger than I thought. There we go. Beautiful fish. Green Bay Muskie. Gotta love it. Side scanned. Just fell victim. little guy but they're going absolutely bonkers Alex just caught his boat next to us just caught one we gotta get it back because these windows are short yeah. organic ones my favorite no no it wasn't not like a side imaging fish no electronics involved first break I've taken this is a long stretch for you. This is like might be a career high. This might be a career high. <laughs> need a little bit of Gatorade. Need those. Need that red 40. This thing got red 40 in it. Oh yeah, it's got red 40. What a day we're having. More fish in the boat. Beautiful morning. Wind's starting to pick up. Now, we're not sure how long we're going to have, but we're going to keep casting, keep on winding, keep on looking. Well, I'll tell you what, I was a bit stressed out this morning when I woke up at the boat ramp and it was 5 o'clock supposed to meet Doug at 4.30 and my phone was dead. All that set aside, we made it out here. Things are good and we had such a blast out here. I really appreciate him taking me out and showing me a couple things about Green Bay Muskies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to have many more coming at you, so stay tuned. Muskies, muskies, and more muskies. It was a pleasure. AP's back. <laughs> AP's back. <laughs>